Hello, my name is Marissa Fields Williams and I am a 2020 BFA candidate for photography at Winthrop University. The title of my senior thesis is called Color Paradise and it is about the exploration of the different patterns of water while also incorporating color and depth of field. I am now going to transition screens and show you my work. Now that the screens are switched, I am just going to show some shots from my work in the Lewandowski Student Gallery. These are all photo prints on white foam board. Here's a front view, a side view, and a detail shot. Starting from my series, Why Choose Water Droplets? For me, I have intimacy with water, specifically water droplets. For starters, <laughs> I wear glasses and am both near and farsighted, so in general, I am just looking at everything close up anyway. But the real intimacy for me with water droplets is their size. Since they're so small in nature, looking at them from far away doesn't really do me any justice. So I have to get close up on them to really see and identify them. The closer that I get to them, the more details that I find, which really creates a constant sense of exploration for me when I'm looking at water droplets. How I was able to get such a close shot on all of these photos is with the macro setting on my camera, which is a Canon Rebel T7. Just a little information on the macro setting, if you're not familiar, is that a macro setting on a camera really just allows you to shoot a subject closer up with your camera. Uh, for me, my macro setting on my camera didn't really always give me what I was looking for in my photos, so I also used extension tubes which have the red trim around my camera. If you can see, these are camera lenses that extend the focus of a camera, which gives a greater magnification of a subject because my macro setting wasn't always giving me the zoom that I needed, so these actually helped me get a closer shot of my water droplets. How I incorporated color is I used photo gel filters. Uh, they have them in all different colors and they are basically transparent colored materials that add color to a space when I put it over a light, as you can see in my sample photos over here. How I lit my photos, I had two lighting sources. I had an overhead light over my water droplets and I used the flash from my camera as my second lighting source. My first image, Scarlet, is an 11 by 14 photo print and to get this photo, I actually had to use a burnt <laughs> photo filter. So for this gel filter, I had it over a light a little bit too long and it melted, but instead of being sad about the situation, I decided to let it really be a surface for my water droplets as an experimentation. And I lit from under my surface this time instead of over it, just to really experiment with how the light would interact with the water as well. And this was the final result from that. My next photo, Jaded, is a 20 by, 25 by 16 photo print. And this is different from Scarlet because I started incorporating using dye in my water. So for this one, I used a blue color dye in my water and I had my overhead light and the flash from my camera. For color, I wanted to use this color dye to further experiment with color as well. Rojo is an 11 by 14 photo print, and this was without the use of color in my water, but this was toward the beginning of my exploration with this series. I wanted to see how using my photo gel filters, this was the red one before it melted, I wanted to see how it interacted with the water without fully covering it. So I put half of this gel filter over my camera lens and this is the final result. 
Sminty, which is Smile Plus Minty, if you get it, is a 25 by 16 photo print. And how I got this photo was before I had extension tubes, I was borrowing an extra lens from a classmate and it did not fit the lens on my camera. So at times it would fall and sort of mess up the water droplets, but this time when I picked it back up to shoot my water, I got almost this smiley face figure, which is what Sminty is. I used a green coloring dye in my water and I had a lime green sort of neon photo gel over my overhead light and I just had my camera flash. The Jeweled is a 20 by 30 photo print and this is one of my two largest prints in my series for Colored Paradise. For this photo, I really, really wanted to experiment with color to the maximum. So I had blue water dye, so my water was blue, and then I had a pink photo gel filter over my overhead light and for my flash, I had a purple photo gel. And as you can see from this result, I got a very wide range of different colors, which I found very interesting for this photo. Pixie is my second biggest one, my 20 by 30 photo print. This one, I did not use color in my water. Instead, I wanted my surface to be the main coloring point so this is sort of a pom-pom material, a holographic pom-pom material, while I also have some remnants of a mirror on tape. And this was what I got from it. And this is Pixie. Arctic is an 11 by 14 photo print. And this is from using blue all around and then using a little bit of a different color to see what the final result is. So for this, I had a blue, I had blue water dye in my water and I had a blue gel filter over my flash. And then I had a lime neon green photo filter over my overhead light. Ruby was also used with a melted photo gel, but this time not my own. <laughs> I really enjoy sort of the hills and valleys and it creates when the photo gel is melted. So for this one, I had red in my water. So the, my water droplets were red and I had a red gel filter over my overhead light and I just wanted to see sort of what would happen with the reflections and this is what I got from Ruby. Bubblegum is a 25 by 16 photo print and I did the same thing as I did with Arctic a little bit. I had pink water droplets and I had a pink photo gel over my overhead light and then I just had a regular flash for my camera and this was the result, which is bubblegum. For my last photo, Lava, this is a 25 by 16 photo print. And to get this, I had orange in my water droplets. And over my overhead light, I had a pink photo gel. And over my flash, I had a purple photo gel. And this is what came from all of those colors combined together. This is my series, Colored Paradise, and thank you for coming to my artist talk.